All right, hi guys. So I wanted to review why I was uh, chain benching today. It's kind of out of my routine, but I'm really trying to work on my lockout and the bench press. If you've seen my recent fails, either in training or in my meets, I always fail, I'll show you guys here, right, right about here every single time. I can come flying up off my chest, but right about here is my sticking point every single time. So I've been working on chain benches, pin presses, reverse bands, a little bit of band, not a ton of band pulling down. I like the reverse bands pulling up just because I can uh, go heavier than usual. So, you know, I can say load the bar up with 405 pounds and be able to hit it for singles and doubles for more than one set. But that's because it's, a help, it's helping me initially press off of the chest but then from there, you know, finishing through with the lockout. But today, you know, I decided to throw the chain bench in there. You'll see my two top sets. I hit 315 for a double pause and 335 barely for a double pause. And I didn't have a spotter in here, you know, so that would have sucked because the chains don't exactly fall off. If I tilted, I would have been stuck. But luckily I got it. So those reps are grinders, but I could really feel the chain, chain links adding up as I locked out. And the chains I got here completely off the ground are 60 pounds a piece. So, you know, that'd be 120 pounds altogether. But, you know, it's not like that in this case. Right now, you'll see in the video, they're about halfway down. So, I want to say roughly, if a top, I'm looking at about half the chains on each side, as if they're fully up. So, 30 on each side. So, that 335 top set for a double was probably about, you know, 395 I would go between 375 and 395. Like I can't give you an exact number. You know, it's a big gap, but at the lockout. So on my chest, it's probably an only an additional 20 pounds. So, you know, I'm looking at 355 on my chest, but you know, it adds up as I lock out. So I really felt that in my triceps and finishing it off. Then I did three burnout sets with my feet in the air with 225 plus this chain. So Roughly, I'm looking at 295, you know, to 275 range, same deal. So I get 10 the first set, I get eight the second, and I'm burning out, my triceps are on fire, you know, I, I don't really train them that much. And uh, then uh, last set, I got five. You know, I probably would've pushed it a little bit more on the last set and the other sets, I just didn't have a spotter and I don't wanna risk failing in the gym by myself and then somebody come in and see me dead under the bar, that wouldn't be too cool. You know, it doesn't really sell gym memberships. but. You know, that's uh, all I did with that so far. You know, I'm gonna do some shoulders and some arms. I've really been trying to train my arms as much as I can to emphasize that lockout because you see those big benchers out there, they got big arms and everything to finish through their lockout, stabilize the weight better and so on and so forth. So that's what I'm gonna be working on here in a little bit. I'm just not gonna bore you with those sets and reps and stuff, so it's not a super long video. Um, all right, rant's over. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share. If you guys have any questions, Please comment below. You can message me on my Facebook page, The Basement Fitness Center, or even on Instagram, The Basement Gym Volant, all one word. All right, thanks for watching, guys.